I was in Las Vegas talking to a lot of you, and I met some very high income folks selling timeshares, used to making a very high income. Guess what? It's gone. And for the foreseeable future, we don't have a clue, or they don't have a clue, when it's going to come back. So it's not just about, well, I'm making a good living when I'm doing, Steve. I'm making, I'm already making a very high income. Right. But do you control it? That's what you have to ask yourself. See, I'm in control of my income. I can still get my car right now. I did it yesterday. Angela did it the day before. Drive, drive out to someone's home that's willing to meet us and sees a value in our product and go there and sell some life insurance and protect that family right now while everything else is shut down. Heck, I can't even go out and play golf. I live on a golf course. They got that shut down too. So I really believe that this is a moment in time for all of you that are watching and supporting this channel, and thank you for that, by the way, can kind of reevaluate. Yes, I'm making good income where I'm at. Yes, I got a good job, but I don't control it. I want to, you know, at, at the very least on a part-time, spare time basis, I want to build something that I control. So that in the event this happens to me again, I've built some residual income so I don't need the job if they take it away from me. Or I'm in this business full time anyways and, and I've, I've got a tremendous amount of residual income built up and I can sit on the sidelines for as long as it takes. My life won't change. No one has control over me because whoever controls your bank account controls your lifestyle and controls your living. Find something that you're passionate about and start building that today. You know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, if you haven't read that book yet, he's got a series of books out. He once said, wealthy people build networks. Everyone else looks for work. Boy, that is so true. And I love this one. Uh, you hear me say this all the time. If you don't build your dream, someone else is going to hire you to build theirs. Those are stark reminders as to why we looked at the insurance industry, many of you. Stark reminders as to why we started our test and didn't complete it. Because, we, you know, we, sometimes we get stuck in our comfort zone. And it's difficult. I talked to somebody just a few minutes ago on text. All these life things coming at him, and he can't get through the test. I got news for you, folks. You got to learn how to win the grind. You got to learn how to, you know, deal with all life throws at you and still build something for tomorrow, or you're never going to escape your current situation. Life will only give you what you're willing to accept. And many of you have been accepting a high income lifestyle with a corporation that you thought was security. It wasn't security. You were just in a comfort zone. You were making a lot of money and there was no real why, no real drive for you to escape that because you thought that job was always going to be there and somehow you felt like it was secure. It wasn't. It never is. The security lies within ourselves and our skill set. You see, right now, if you heard me say this before, is I can go anywhere in the country, grab me some leads, make some dials, find somebody, and they're not all going to be willing to meet with us right now, but some of them will, and I can go sell some insurance and not get paid in 24 to 40 hours. And you got to ask yourself, can I do that? And along the way, I'm building residual income so that I have income coming in that no one can take away from me or yank that rug out from underneath me and completely upset my world. And many of you that just lost your job understand that, unfortunately, now more than ever, right? It's a painful reminder and the fear that goes along with it, that realization that you don't control your income, but somebody else does. And that person just yanked the rug out from underneath you. And worse than that, they have money saved in the bank from their passive income stream that you built for them by showing up for work every day and you gave up that dream for yourself. Again, you're going to build your own dreams or someone's going to hire you to build theirs. Many of us knew that and understood that a long time ago. That's why we're in this business, right? Or that's why you started out your test. Or that's why you came to this channel. That's why you signed up for the license. You went back to status quo. You went back to your comfort zone. It's too easy to show up for work every day. Or you got overwhelmed by life and all the things that are going on. Look, we all have those things. You gotta learn how to win the grind, like I said, and focus on building something for tomorrow because when that day comes, if you haven't invested in that tomorrow, you're gonna to be left in this place again. This is probably not the only time that this is ever going to happen. For those of you that either are currently in this business or working on your license, and that you started your business, with a very important why for doing it. Of course, you all want to succeed. You all want the extra income. You all want the success. We all want the respect. 
We all want the time and freedom, but as you know, it takes consistent effort. For those of you who are spare time or part time or trying to get your license, have you ever felt like you wish you'd do more with it? This is extremely common for just about everybody who is building a business. You're not alone. Transitioning from a job to a business that gives us security and balance in our lives is really the same for everybody. So don't keep beating yourself up, but you've got to focus on tomorrow. With everything else going on in life, making time can be a bit of a challenge. So the lack of time is not unique to you. The differentiating factor that separates the big success stories from everybody else is personal motivation. Here's what I found to be true. If your awareness for why you need to build this business becomes so red hot strong inside of your head and your heart, you will make time to get things moving. And until that happens, it's never gonna happen. You remember, I've said this to me before. Until the pain of the same becomes greater than the pain of change, nothing in your life or mine is going to change. We had to be sick and tired of being sick and tired before we're going to be willing to invest the time necessary to move ourselves into a place that we already know is going to be better, but we're stuck in the comfort zone. So if you're struggling in this area, you have not found the right why. You have not tapped into the red hot reason of why this business is important enough for you to take the time. You can't say it's because I want the money. You can't say because I want work-life balance. You gotta find out what that work-life balance will buy you and get all the way down to those red hot coals where that fire's the hottest and put that on the board. See, I have it everywhere. I know what I'm fighting for every single day that I'm in this career, right? I fight for times like these that I control my life and someone else doesn't control it for me. Sure, you have a why. I'm sure you, that why motivates you to get signed up for the license. I'm sure that's why motivates you to go down, take the test and pass it and get your license. But it wasn't big enough to keep you in the game every single day, was it? Or you'd be doing it right now. And if you are, are you doing enough? If it's not, you have not found the big enough why that will get your feet moving. Take advantage of this time. Get licensed if you're not. Find someone that will teach you this business. And I'm not talking about an IMO. I'm talking about a coach with a proven system that he or she can teach you so that you don't be one of the 90% that fail because you just signed up with somebody. You just signed up with somebody that offered you a high contract, no leads, no train, no support. But hey, it looks like they're going to pay me more over there. That's not good enough. High contract, no leads, no support means broke agents. What changed my career was someone that taught me day to day how to succeed in this business. Think about it. It's not a recruit, 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 some will, some won't, some, you know, all this kind of crap signed up nonsense is going out there. It's somebody that I can call on a case by case basis every single day. I can, I mean, I used to be on the road and I'd call my mentor and say, I'm getting ready to go into this home. You got any tips for me? And I felt comfortable walking into that home. That's what you got to find, right? Many of you just signed up with somebody and didn't consider it a very important role of a mentor. Not a recruiter, a mentor. There's a huge difference, as you know, and I talk about this a lot. Many of you undervalue the role of a coach, a mentor. I'm talking about somebody that works with you on every single case, teaches you the skill sets you, you need to succeed in this business, and that's worth its weight in gold. So my recommendation is take action now. Use this time to make some dramatic changes in your life to prepare yourself to never be in this position again. If you're licensed, recommit to actually getting active in the business of helping people. We talk a lot about money in this business because it's a scoreboard, but in reality, it's both. We make a good living to go out and help people. I'll share with you a very short story that had a huge impact on me. One of the things that we do here in our agency, in our team, and that is we put the customer and the client first and foremost, when we go into that home. He gets done with the application, puts their protection in place, and says, ma'am, is there anything else that you need? She was an elderly woman. And the lady says, yes, I need some cereal. I ran out of my Rice Krispies, and I don't have any cereal for tomorrow, and I'm afraid to go out. He gets in his car, he drives down to the grocery store, and buys enough Rice Krispies to last her two weeks. See, that's what we do in this industry. If you're licensed, recommit to actually getting active in the business of helping people. Do it now before the jobs come back and you fall back into a life of complacency. My mentor once told me, Steve, you are where you are because that is exactly where God wants you to be right now at this time in your life. Embrace it, learn from it, and never be in this position again. Look, live your life as you see fit. Stop living your life around your job. Life is way too short to give up the only life we have 
never doing what God puts you on this earth to do. And it wasn't selling life insurance. We all have a God-given talent, things that we love, hobbies that we love, families to spend time with. We use the insurance vehicle because it's a feel-good opportunity. Thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you in the next video. In the meantime, stay safe. Bye-bye. and find your why.